Hey everybody, this is HD. And this is Spain User. And we're back for game number two in the HD World Tournament between In Control and Zelnik. This is currently the round of 16 for this tournament. And remember, the prize pool payout $1,700 and a little bit extra, 50. So a lot of money at stake here for these players. The, uh, some of the best in the world, in fact. And uh, so far in game number one between Zelnik and In Control, In Control really showed just a dominant playstyle, um, going for the cannons, going for the Dark Templar, and Zelnik never really caught up. He kind of fell behind in the beginning, and he was playing catch-up the entire time, but he just couldn't get back on the level of in-control, and in-control just went crazy with it, and he was able to take game number one. Yeah, in-control was playing very risky style, but uh, it paid off dividends, and Zelnik didn't really adapt and deal with it properly, so uh, in-control took the game handily. I don't really feel like Zelnik was in control at any point of the game, so that's a pretty pretty demoralizing first loss in a, in a best of three. You never really want to go out like that in the first game. If it's really close, if it's a nail-biter, you still feel confident going into the next game, but if you get stomped like that, it can be pretty difficult going into the next game. So hopefully Zelnik can bring it back. Um, the map is Icy Cup Test Bug, and this is a pretty weird map. Um, it's one of the maps that's being used at the MLG tournament as well, and it's the only map in any map pool that has two rich Vespine geysers. So, um, if you do take that gold expansion, it's the only gold expansion that also has two rich Vespine geysers. Most gold expansions do not. So, the third on this map is very important. A lot of people try and aggressively take that gold expansion and then start producing a lot of really gas-heavy units and uh, just run away with the game. Yeah, good points right there by Pain User. Um, do note as well that the loser of the last game, Zelnik, chose this map, and uh, Icy Cup Test Bug. Icy Cup Test Bug is one of the the maps in the map pool for the HD World Tournament, along with a lot of the other new, big and popular maps in the GSL. So. We'll see what Zelnik does. Is he going to try to go for that early expansion at the gold? Looks like right now he is just going to focus on getting gas and pool down. And he has four Zerglings on the way. His gas is a little bit later than I would think he would get it for. So I don't know if he's going to get speed right away. In fact, it looks like he's going to go for a hatchery somewhere around here. But a pylon already thrown down by In Control. And just like last game, man, In Control is just harassing the, Proto the Zerg player by throwing up Protoss buildings. So uh, yep. this pylon's going to delay that hatchery by just a little bit. Yeah, it was good of him to get in there and drop that pylon. That's super frustrating as a Zerg player. Uh, it's going to delay the hatchery by that much more. Zelnik does queue up a second queen um, to get rid of some of those extra minerals. Still hasn't gotten the speed upgrade. Uh, only mining gas with one drone now, so... Mm -hmm. Gonna get that speed upgrade going and then focus a lot on uh, minerals and droning up here, uh, which I think is is relatively safe. He, I would love to see him um, possibly get an overlord in position to sacrifice uh, maybe in the next two minutes here because right around the six minute mark is when you really want to know just exactly what kind of build the Protoss player is doing because there's all kinds of stuff in their arsenal that can just really quickly end a game and, and punish you for, for taking any kind of risks. So it's really important to know what they're doing at this stage in the game and here we have in control adding another gate, probably going to add another gateway and just go up to three gates and then do a really safe uh, three gate expansion. Yep, uh, like you said right there, there's the third gateway going down. And this is really standard for Protoss players, guys. Going for three warp gates, you can either you can add on a fourth if you want, but most players nowadays will actually just go for the third gate and then get a Nexus down um, and go for that early expansion build instead. So uh, we'll see what Zelnik does in response to that. Remember, like you said before, Pain User Scouting is so vital right now for the Zerg. He needs to know what's going on. It looks like he is going to try to get a Zergling in here, and it just barely whiffs on by the Sentry. The Zergling with Ooh. no HP and the probes getting pulled off the line to take it out. Nice play right there by In Control to prevent the Zergling from getting in. And wow, we have a fourth Warp Gate coming up. So In Control here. I think he's going to do some kind of a mass sentry warp gate attack, which is something that MC does really, really well, OGS MC in the GSL. Uh, we'll see if that's going to be the case as the warp gates are starting to transform. Yeah, he's definitely going to do some kind of high sentry for warp gate one base timing push here because he does have the double gas going. He is going up to four warp gates, obviously not going to, yeah, there come three, cent three more sentries into the mix. Um, he's obviously not going to be going for his expansion right off the bat here he's got a offensive pylon getting in position to warp in some additional units uh zelnik almost spotting that pylon with his zergling it's really too bad that he didn't see that if he had been able to see that uh you can 
you can do a lot. You can run around the back with speedlings and harass the pylon while he's pushing, force him to pull back, buy yourself some more time to produce some additional units. But really, I, I wonder what's going through Zelnik's head right now. Um, he is building up units at his natural, and he does have a spine crawler and a queen. I'd like to see him pull the queen from his main as soon as he realizes what's going on. Possibly drop another spine crawler. Uh, sending out a few links to scout, but I don't think he's going to know this is coming. Well, I think he did see with the Overlord at the natural. I, I think he saw a couple of sentries on the way. Uh, regardless, here comes the attack by InControl. A lot of Zealot Stalkers and the most deadly thing of all is these sentries. I don't know if Zelnik can hold this off. Like you said, but he only has one spine crawler. It's going to come down to these force fields, which two of those getting laid down in the best position possible, allowing that spine crawler to be picked off easily. And Zelnik now trying to scramble forces out. In control, surprisingly here, not warping. And there we go. There's the reinforcements. And laying down more force fields oh my god pain user i think in control may win this series 2-0 i don't know Not zelnik's got a good. lot of roaches and he's got more roaches pouring out from the main and the natural and they're uh. just kind of spawning right on top of in control's troops right now it looked like in control was just gonna destroy him right there he had some great force fields trapped a bunch of units i thought he was gonna come away victorious right there but zelnik obviously was uh, preemptively building units out of his hatcheries and they spawned at just the perfect time. He's able to hold this full warp gate rush off and I feel like Zelnik is in a great position now. <laughs> That's why I have a co cast with me. Always catches things that I miss like those roaches and zerglings spawning on top of all those warp gate units and taking them out. Wow, Zelnik now has map control pain user. What a turn of events and what a hold by Zelnik who really needed this win after that crushing and demoraliz demoralizing defeat on Taldorim Altar. Is he going to be able to take the game right here and now? In control, now out of control, but not in the way that you think he would be. He's actually really not in control of this game at all. <laughs> How many puns can we come up with regarding In Control's name? I don't know. It's but uh, Zelnik's easy. trying to push the front right now and not really able to get rid of that cybernetics core. So not able to, to open up a causeway to get his units in there. Still doesn't have roach speed, but Zelnik producing just the right amount of units. Uh, able to eke out a few extra drones. He's he's five drones ahead. Or wait, no, he's actually ten drones, ten ahead. drones ahead now. So he's he's well ahead at this point. Uh, as soon as he's able to get roach speed, and oh, he's also got that creep down at the natural. Yeah. So that's going to be a great position for him to fight. That's that's talking about poop in a highway right on the natural. That that's brilliant, man. Because that prevents any pylons or nexus from going down. It makes the roaches and zerglings so much faster when the Protoss in control decides to push out, and he actually could have lost a lot of his, uh, of his forces there in control now just kind of cramped inside of one base and really what is he gonna do now i would think maybe throw up a stargate and try to get some some air units out because it's all roaches and zerglings in front of his base but i think in control is just gonna he's just gonna stay with warp gate man and he's gonna try to He's going to try to muscle his way out the front door. But hey, look at this. That proxy pylon still warping in more units. And a, a, a handful of zealots and two sentries coming up. Meanwhile, an attack at the front door. And this is going to be a two-pronged attack for both players. Yeah, I don't know that in control is going to be able to hold this. I don't think he has enough units at his main. There's just way too many roaches. Roaches spawning will be able to deal with these zealots and sentries in the main. Just running straight up the ramp, force fielding, preventing any reinforcements from the natural. Really nice. They're definitely going to be able to do a significant amount of damage, but roaches will be able to clean them up. And it looks like Zelnik, a little bit indecisive again, pulling back from the front was thinking about going and maybe saving his main, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to do so. And we might have a little bit of a base race here on our hands. Yeah, wow, these Zealots are doing some pretty good work inside of Zelnik's main, but oh, 10 roaches popping out. Five from that main hatchery and another five down here, but the force field prevents the roaches from reinforcing from the natural expansion. Meanwhile, we still have Z in control trying to keep his front door alive here. He's trying to throw down more force fields. It looks like a handful of roaches may be able to break this. It's certainly going to be very close. In control with only two Zealots left, though, inside the main, trying to hammer that roach warren down. That didn't work out too well. Looks like the force field finally busted. And Zelnik, now in control. <laughs> he is now the one in control of this game, I believe. Uh, as he's, he's fended off the attack quite nicely. I don't know how many drones he lost. I don't think he lost too many. Um, it's really it's really tough to call, but I think Zelnik may, may be the one who's ahead right now. Yeah, absolutely. I think Zelnik's uh, in firm grasp of the lead right now. Uh, in control has to be getting mined out at his main. If you click on those mineral patches, 450, 550, mm. 300. So he is getting mined out at the main. Oh, nice he's not really. Oh, that was a really nice burrow, actually. He's microing the individual roaches that are getting picked off. 
pops them all back up right there. Uh, he might. Uh, yeah, he's definitely oh. going to be able to win this fight right here. And I think that's going to seal the deal. I think he's going to win the game as soon as... I mean, this is all in control has. That's it. GG. Uh, in control calls it. Zelnik wins the game at the end. I really like that. That Roach bro. I did not even expect Zelnik to bring that out. But what a nice game. Uh, Zelnik here taking the momentum back as he needed to do. And we have a game number three on our hands, Pain user, in Absolutely. this HD World Tournament.